this is a little Wii store in Stockholm, one of them. We had our first store that we had from day one, uh, 200 meters from here. So we've been in this area. I can show you some, some nice things we, we have to offer. As I talked to you about before, that we worked with our activists. Um, and this one we, we produced with our good friend Sage Vaughan, who did this uh, artwork for, for the sketchbook. Things that make him uncomfortable. And there's a nice little thing. And when you open it up, it's actually, you've got four different hardnesses for pencils here. That was our, one of our stores in Stockholm, so we're just gonna go up a few hundred meters to our next one. Say hello hey. to Germany! Hello Germany! This, is all, this one, uh, an, an employee of us, just built because he's a, he's a skater and he can build ramps, so he just put this all together for us. But now we're working with a, an architect firm called uh, Thomas Eriksson. We've got so, the southern part of Stockholm. It's especially, you know, it's the different people that go south to bars there compared to the center of Stockholm. Uh, I think that's the two main areas to go out to. And this is on the rooftop of the WEC headquarters, where we got a 360 view over Stockholm. And over here you got uh, old Djurgården, which is an uh, old part of Stockholm. And you have an amusement park called Grönalund and uh, a zoo, Skansen. Down here you have uh, Swedish radio. Here you got the US embassy. It's a lot of embassy buildings around here. Swedish television building right over there. And that tower you see in the back there, it's called the Kocknes Tornet. Over there you got a part of the city called Lidingö. When you come to this part here, it's more the center of the town, where you have all the shops. Here we have the cast, Swedish castle. In the southern part of Stockholm you got good, good, nice bars, small restaurants like PA. Theater Grillen, Riche. Riche is a bar that's good for good for lunch, good for, for dinner, but also it's good 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 nightlife, good bar. To to come to Stockholm, it's um, it's like every city you go to, you try to hook up with anyone in Stockholm and get help with you know where to go, which hotel to stay. Watch this episode ten times and then you're safe. Yeah, Sweden's great. I mean, um, it's a really nice environment, surrounded by water. You know, there's a lot going on in the city. Some nice restaurants and bars. It may be surprising, but I sometimes draw parallels between sort of Stockholm and Tokyo in the way that people are very acceptable to a quite high level of fashion, um, and then so they adopt trends very quickly. perceive them as being quite directional but they also follow but they just follow quite quickly um, so you can see mm. the trends very strongly in Stockholm as you can when you go to Japan you know it's very strong subcultures and different identities of people and you see that in Stockholm this is one of the first t-shirts we ever made we're aiming for a, for a, for a perfect world but you know it takes time and uh, we have to be very very 100% sure what we're doing, so we're not doing anything halfway. 80% of our collections can be uh, organic. I have four, no, three more kids, and uh, I'll probably be bold. We as C, we are the superlative conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs>